this is Omega Zula's channel, and today I want to show you the abilities of this hero, how their animation looks like. Fushan is a Force Legendary Champion from Lizardmen Faction. Life for Lizardmen in the free city of Arnok is either passable or terrible. His arbitrates that line, and he decides which side of it nearly all his fellow Lizardmen live on. Thanks to his role as gatekeeper to a better life, he is one of the most powerful people in the entire city. Arnok's lizardmen live either in the sewers or in its ghetto. The ghetto has fresh air, access to the sky, and guards to police the streets. Lizardmen in the ghetto can rent a lot, build it up, assemble a workshop as long as Arnok's guilds get their cut, and make a life for themselves. Non-lizardmen cannot enter the ghetto without an escort, and the district is walled off from the outside, making it difficult to sneak in. A lizardman living in the ghetto cannot be easily robbed and murdered by humans or elves unless the would-be criminals have his permission, as he pays the guards. He also owns the land and maintains the walls, the streets, and the relations with the rest of the city. Inside the ghetto, a lizardman might have a future, but it means living and dying by his word alone. The alternative is worse. If a lizardman clan can't afford he prices to dwell on the surface or don't want to live in his shadow, they live here instead scratching out a living as brute laborers for the city above. But they are far from free here, because he is not just a landlord, he is a ganglord. When the Banner Lords broke centuries of mutual defense treaties to storm the gates of Arnok, chaos engulfed the city. Soldiers, peasant levies, and mercenaries roved through the streets, killing and stealing everything in sight. But they left the sewers alone, not because they feared the reputation of any gang, but because of the stench. Fushan, having lorded over the sewer clans for decades, was forced to huddle down among them, as terrified of discovery by the rampaging army as the lowest of his slaves. Later he realized that the sewers were no sanctuary either. With the city burning and the old powers crippled, the skulls worn seized the opportunity to rise up and protect the lizardmen. They seized huge swathes of the Skinner's territory and killed hundreds of the criminals in a lightning war. His forces backed into their few remaining strongholds and his grand web of influence torched to ash above him. Fushan lurked in his hideout, waiting for opportunity to give him an opening at his enemies. Or for them to finally bring the hammer down and end his reign for good. Fushan's skills, attack one, howl, attacks one enemy, has a 25% chance of placing an extra hit. Attack two, four turns cooldown, frightful claws, attacks all enemies two times, each hit has a 20% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Attack 3, 5 turns cooldown, shred. Attacks 4 times at random. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for 2 turns. Fushan has a speed aura in all battles 24%, making him useful in any content, but he comes into his own controlling waves with his AoE stun ability on his A2. This ability hits hard, enabling wave clear whilst having a strong chance to stun your enemies. Booking this A2 ability is advised. Fushan works best in Cruel. Savage Gear, however, needs good speed and accuracy to land his debuffs. Overall, a very strong legendary champion. This was Omega Zulus. Thank you very much for watching until the end. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Until next time, see you soon.